Once upon a time, in the city of New York, across the street from Central Park, lived a penthouse cat named Percy. waited on hand and foot. He was fed only the choicest foods. In fact, Percy lived the life of Riley. But soft living didn't appeal to Percy, and every day he'd bound to the window and with wistful gaze, look out upon the park below. Now in the park lived a pigeon. It was springtime and she was happy because soon she would lay two eggs and soon after that would have two new babies. But she wasn't the only one thinking about tender little pigeons. Percy also had squab on his mind. Now when egg laying time came, instead of laying two eggs like all the rest of the pigeons, our little friend laid only one egg. And all the others laughed at her. Though she sadly sat on her one big egg and didn't feel so proud anymore. Then all at once the egg hatched. Hello world, said the baby pigeon, which quite surprised everyone. And the mother began to feel better about her one big egg. But then guess what happened? Oh, wasn't the mother pigeon happy then? Because pigeon eggs are only supposed to carry one passenger. And imagine how she felt when out popped a third. And the other pigeons turned green with envy. Well, she was the happiest, proudest mother in the park with her triplets. Now these three little squabs looked very much alike, but their mother knew them apart. And she named the handsome one Jack, and the strong one Mac, and the youngest one Whack. <laughs> Everyone was so nice to her and said she was lucky to be the mother of three such fine, handsome, healthy little pigeons. So Mac, Jack, and Whack played around the park teasing the robins, playing tag with the squirrels, and fighting over breadcrumbs and peanuts. But no matter how hard they'd fight with each other, it was just too bad for anyone who would interfere with them. In the meantime, Percy the penthouse cat made his break for freedom. <laughs> oh boy, I'm free, he cried. No more sissy food for me. <laughs> I'm after live meat. Now, just at that moment, Jack, Mac, and Whack were busy playing hide and seek. Here I come, ready or not, said Whack. Here I come, ready or not, snarled Percy as he pounced on the little bird. Just a minute, sir, said Whack. I'm only a skinny little runt, hardly worth eating. But if you let me go, I'll show you where two nice fat pigeons are hiding. Oh, ho, a stool pigeon, eh, snarled Percy. All right, you're on. Show me.
Yes, the three little pigeons worked over the old cat. And before they were through, Chrissy was one sad-looking mess. And so he learned the hard way that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush.